Sachi Sen uh, as you know I did the FTPS program for a year and I did development studies and my other module was international law um, yes I'm from Mumbai Um, I have work experience in the development field so I worked for three and a half years in microfinance back home in India um, but I had no theoretical or academic knowledge of the subject so I had my experiences and I was finding a lot of roadblocks and obstacles in my work and I didn't understand why so I wanted a more academic knowledge of the subject so this is why I chose development studies as my one of my modules in FTPS. I think our uh, module was divided into three sections by our uh, teacher really well. So the first kind of went in, it, it, it was all theoretical, but the first was like broadly like poverty, gender, so all of that was really interesting for me. How do you measure poverty, what it means to be poor, not just income wise, but also you know feeling powerless, not having agency, all of those things. Then the second one was more about um, the Washington Consensus, how the West has influenced policies in the development field all over the world because of the money that they have and just the influence that they have. And the third was development economics, which is not my strong suit, so I wasn't a fan of that. But uh, we did microfinance as one of the topics which I was obviously very interested in. Just, I just understood why things were happening, you know, why, why do women, um, not have agency, what are the deep structural causes of poverty in India in terms of the labor and, and women and um, the caste system, how do societal uh, prejudices affect poverty and development, all of those things, so yeah. For me, it was the um, research and academic writing because I've never done anything like this before. So just the essays and researching about it. And also a lot of the time we were left to our own devices. So it was kind of like a self-study, which I guess masters is going to be like. So it was good preparation, but for me, because education in India is very spoon-fed, so it was a little tough for me to find the self-motivation and self-discipline to do it. But yeah, that was a little bit challenging. Definitely people who want to go into the development field and do a master's that is in development studies. Yeah, it's like a good introduction to the topic. Um, my uh, teacher gave us, uh, introduced us to a lot of scholars and academics who wrote on subjects that I was interested in, who I had never heard of before, but are very important in the field. So it's a very good introductory topic in the field. Yeah. Hopefully so as. Um, I've applied for the violence, conflict and development module in the development studies program. Okay, and uh, have you made an offer on that? Uh, not yet. I think no. I'm supposed to get it today, but I'm not sure. Well, uh, fingers crossed. Yeah. Okay. And do you have a plan B? Um, hopefully Queen Mary. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. And development studies? Yeah. Okay. So can I ask why you chose VCD over pure development? Uh, yeah, because... Um, my ISP, the independent study project you're supposed to do for uh, FTPS was based on um, uh, conflict and the aid industry and how they interact. Uh, so I think I want to go into um, the aid industry, maybe work for the UNDP or something. So I think conflict and development are closely linked in today's world. So.